Armed carjackers could face 25 years in jail under new laws drafted after an 80% jump in the number of cars violently stolen. Victims have told Seb Costello they welcome progress on the issue but want the government to do more. As he relaxed in his driveway on Melbourne Cup Day, this father of two was set upon. Then he dragged me out of the car, threw me onto the, the concrete here. Four males drove off with his Audi. His facial injuries captured in a video taken the next day. There was a, a point of time where I thought, I'm actually gone, like these guys are going to kill me. Carjackings have increased by 80% in Victoria in the past year. Recent crisis talks between police and the state government have led to a new legal approach. We are going to give Victoria Police the powers they need to punish these criminals. In late April, six Apex thugs terrorised a driver in Turak. The next month, an Ivanhoe father and his family were threatened with a sawn-off shotgun before their jeep was stolen. On June 10, a former police officer was bashed as a gang tried to steal his BMW at Mordialic. And a week ago, Melbourne was compared to violent Johannesburg after two brutal carjackings in Malvern within 24 hours of one another. The government wants to create a specific carjacking offence that would see a maximum penalty of 10 years in prison. A second offence of aggravated carjacking would also be created for offenders who use weapons that could see a stint of 25 years behind bars. This government's priorities when it comes to law and order are completely wrong. And at least one victim wants a more holistic approach. All very good, you catch them, you put them in jail, but that's not going to solve a problem, that's just going to band-aid it, really. But my view is, Get more people out into the schools, talk to them more about it. Hours after Sam's Audi was stolen, police found four males sitting inside it in a shopping centre car park. All four avoided conviction for lack of evidence. Seb Costello, Nine News.